These are the videos that everybody is talking about. It's freaking everybody out, man. Make sure y'all don't skip around this video right here because you might just get lost in the sauce. But look, man, uh, make sure y'all smash that like button, subscribe to my channel. 50% of the people that watch this channel aren't even subscribed. So theoretically, we're already at a million. Y'all just tripping. You feel me? But look, uh, <laughs> let's get into this video. Just know we're going through this thing called life together. The vibes on. Get it. Seen American presidents quietly slipping into war zones before, but never quite like what we saw today. Americans waking up to news that President Biden had arrived in the Ukrainian capital of Kyiv on an unannounced visit cloaked in secrecy that included the president taking a 10 hour train ride across Ukraine, venturing into a country actively at war and where there is no sustained U.S. military presence. The risk underscored by the wail of an air raid siren as the the president strolled outside with President Volodymyr Zelensky. A show of unity and defiance aimed at Russian President Vladimir Putin, days away from the one-year anniversary of Putin's invasion of Ukraine. The America stands with you and the world stands with you. The momentous day starting with President Zelensky and the First Lady of Ukraine greeting Mr. Biden. Uniformed Ukrainian military officers lining the streets as the two presidents walked through the Ukrainian capital, locked down for security. Air raid sirens in the distance. Then this dramatic moment, laying a wreath at the wall of remembrance for fallen Ukrainian soldiers, punctuated by a moment of silence. The ceremonies making a powerful impact on Ukrainians. NBC's Aaron McLaughlin is there. All day, Ukrainians have been paying their respects at this wall of fallen Ukrainian soldiers. They tell me President Biden's visit shows them that the world sees their sacrifice. We feel that world uh, support us. And tonight, we're learning more about the risky operation that was months in the making. President Biden giving the final sign-off on Friday and leaving in the pre-dawn hours Sunday. These newly released images showing him arriving in Kyiv after a 10-hour train trip right across the Ukraine border. The Kremlin right. was notified hours in advance. And the visit comes as Ukraine, which relies on Western military aid, is pressing the U.S. for more. President Biden announcing another half billion dollars in military aid and making this pledge. For as long as it takes, and that's how long we're going to be with you, Mr. President. The U.S. has given Ukraine over $100 billion in aid so far. But the challenge for President Biden, our NBC News poll this month showing Americans are split on taxpayer money for Ukraine. 49% say Congress should provide more funding and weapons, and 47% say Congress should not. Republican House Speaker McCarthy says he's against a blank check for Ukraine, all as Russia has begun its major new offensive in the East. And Kristen, the stakes remain high on this trip for the president with some key meetings there in Poland. Lester, that's right. President Biden will meet with the president of Poland and other key allies in the region. And tomorrow night, he will deliver a major speech here where he's expected to build on the argument that Putin has committed crimes against humanity. My question to that is, you know, who the hell voted on this? Who's these people that they're getting these fake votes from? We already know that all this stuff is scripted. I proved that time and time again with the video. But this is just wild, man. Like, a lot of people listen to this. Ignore the fact that uh, people over here are struggling. And they're giving out billions of dollars, you know. And let alone the disrespect for my people not getting what is owed to us. That's what I'm standing on. And but we will be over here spending our money funding somebody else's war for what? Then they don't even like people like me because when people had to evacuate Ukraine, they wouldn't even let people that look like us out. They told them to go to the back. That was a big thing. But everybody won't forget that. So if you care about me and my people, you shouldn't be standing with a lot of this stuff that's going on. We'll be sticking together. Stuck over here together and we should start acting like it, right? You just got to keep each other accountable with this type of stuff. It's crazy.
president Important. thus far has spent about 50 billion in cash and military equipment. We don't know how many troops are there. They're there as, quote, advisors and instructors, closed quote, showing the Ukrainian troops how to use American military equipment. In the case of some equipment, which is physically located in Ukraine, Americans physically located in Poland are using the American equipment in Ukraine to target Russian troops in Ukraine and in Russia and then are pulling the trigger from Poland. If that's not American troops firing on Russian troops, I don't know what is. Has the Congress authorized American troops to fire on Russian troops? It has not. Has the Congress declared war on Russia? Of course it has not. There's no legal, moral, or constitutional basis for a war against Russia. But Joe Biden is waging a war against Russia. Mr. President, what is your goal? He won't say. If his goal is to remove Russian troops from Ukraine and maybe from Crimea, that is a militarily impossible goal to achieve. If his goal is to remove Russian President Vladimir Putin from office, as the American State Department and its colleagues in Western Europe have hinted, and Lindsey Graham has publicly asked for, that is militarily impossible to achieve. So without a clear-cut military goal against Russia and without a clear-cut military threat to the United States or United States persons or property or national security from Russia, there's absolutely no basis whatsoever for military aid against Russia and for commencing, Mr. President, a war against Russia, a secret war with troops out of uniform. Message. President Biden traveled to Ukraine this morning to meet with President Zelensky. Hey, 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 hey. Let me, let me speak to Putin. No, no, I'm serious. Let me speak to Putin. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Putin, launch, launch now. Do the world a favor, launch now. Go ahead, yep, yep, yeah. yep. get Ukraine. Do it <laughs> right now, trust me, right now, brother. Yeah, that's, that's, that shit is funny, I ain't gonna lie. Earth is on red alert for a massive solar flare headed directly towards the Earth. They're saying they have no idea how bad it could get. Prepare for catastrophic blackouts. Check this out. It's on its way. The Earth is about to take a direct hit from an unprecedented solar storm. An alert was just issued by NOAA, and its message is loud and clear. Prepare for massive, potentially catastrophic disruptions. With its unstoppable force headed straight for us, it's time to ask yourself, are you prepared for darkness? Watch this video for the full story and all the details about what could potentially be one of the most destructive events in our lifetime. <laughs> Officials in Argentina and Uruguay are working to restore power after a massive electrical failure left parts of both countries in the dark. The widespread blackout started Sunday morning. Authorities are not yet sure what triggered it. Nearly 50 million people were affected. Trains suspended operations, but planes were still able to take off as airports turned to generators. The power outage also hit parts of Chile, Paraguay, and Brazil. You got to think, like, a lot of this stuff, like your phone signal, has it been messing up lately? I'm in a place that's normally hot, and we're about to have snow, quote unquote, you know, in the area. And, it, and, it, and it's crazy, you know, the, the more that Monday approached, the more you start to see them, because I was already, I, yeah, Google was already talking about the solar flare and stuff. They started to spray more and more and more and more. It's still cloudy right now, raining and everything. It don't even normally rain here. Just everything is just weird. Let me know in the comments down below if you're scared that the weather is doing what it's not supposed to do.
at this point. The comments. I've all seen this and also this, but did you know it was originally a book written in 1985 by Don DeLillo? The book begins as a sci-fi tale of one man's fear of death, but then includes things like men in hazmat suits, plane crashes, Hitler, and then a chemical spill from a rail car that forces an evacuation. Fast forward to 2022, and we have a Netflix movie based on the book. A tanker full of toxic material collides with a train car, forcing residents to evacuate. Not too crazy for a film plot until you learn it was shot near East Palestine and some of the residents were actually extras in the movie. And just like the movie, <laughs> real life residents are receiving mixed communications on evacuations, toxin levels, and what's really going on. So what's next? The 2021 Netflix movie, Don't Look Up? I'm pointing that direction, huh? It's just a movie though, y'all. Just a movie. That's it, right? All right, we're either going to World War III or we're on the cusp of another major world event distraction. What a time to have balloons flying over our country <laughs> when former right. employees from Twitter are getting absolutely roasted by Congress. Hunter Biden's laptop, censorship, and election fraud. Finding out the truth about January 6th whistleblowers coming out of the woodwork and remember wow what a good movie what was that two years ago this came out he has defied russia's expectations at every single turn <clears throat> and president Zelensky, Zelensky, you have made it clear that he is uh open to pursuing uh um well, let me put it this way. He's not open, but you're open to pursuing peace. You're open to pursuing a just peace. We also know that Putin has no intention, no intention of stopping this cruel war. And the United States is committed to ensuring that the brave Ukrainian people can continue, continue to defend their country against Russian aggressions as long as it takes. Ohio train derailment caused evacuation of hundreds due to hazardous materials contaminating water and air in the region. But was it safe to return home? On February 3rd, 2023, a Norfolk Southern freight train derailed in East Palestine, Ohio, causing a fiery crash. The train was carrying hazardous materials, including vinyl chloride, which was vented and burned. But at least four other tanker cars were also involved in the derailment, carrying other hazardous chemicals. New information suggests that chemicals released included ethylene glycol monobutyl ether, ethyl hexylacrylate, and isobutylene which are associated with potential health risks such as brain, lung, and blood cancers. This story seems suspicious. Norfolk Southern has been sued for negligence in at least four class action lawsuits and donated $1 million to help evacuated families and local businesses. Act of kindness or attempt to buy the silence. What else would be uncovered? What y'all think that is? No? Act of kindness or what? I don't think so. Be for real with you. This is Dabu7. Some updated info here in terms of this massive release of chemicals that has taken place from this train wreck up here on the Pennsylvania-Ohio border. Where they're saying now 
They believe that the chemicals from this explosion in East Palestine have reportedly contaminated the Ohio River as far as West Virginia. That is the water source for wow. some five million people. Wow. You can see here, they have boat teams out on the water. Wow. In the Ohio. This is 14 miles from East Palestine in the train der derailment. They're That's taking samples on the river to see what all chemicals are in there. And mind you, we don't know what they're gonna come out and tell the population. In regards to all this, they came out and evacuated a one mile radius around this, but they're saying that people are being affected by this up to 200 miles away. We have animals dropping dead on farms left and right. This is being reported within that radius. We have counties everywhere from very eastern parts of Kentucky all the way through Pennsylvania, up into New York, New York State, the whole region, parts of West Virginia. Wow. Anyone that can visibly see this cloud or this plume in the sky, you're potentially affected. Anyone that is downwind from this or downstream, it could go the other way because the Ohio River is gonna flow west out of there. So this is huge. The water source for some 5 million people at least being affected by this, it could be contaminated. Animals die. And it doesn't seem that the government wants to say much about what's going on. Massive disaster here. We're gonna talk about this in greater detail on the live stream tonight. Make sure to join. Did you know that a movie predicted this? So we all heard about the trains exploding and releasing a harmful chemical in the air, right? And this all happened in Ohio. But what if I was to tell you that it's a movie called White Noise that's based on the story of a train exploding in Ohio and releasing harmful chemicals in the air? What if I told you that they filmed that movie in Ohio? So let me get this right. Netflix released a movie last year about a train exploding in Ohio. And then this year, a train explodes in Ohio. Let me roll y'all a clip of the movie. I hope it lasts forever. Let's watch a sitcom or something. No. They're calling it the airborne toxic event. It won't come this way. Will we have to leave our home? Of course not. How do you know? I just know. Okay, what if it's dangerous? I'm not trying to start any conspiracies. I'm just pointing things out. Y'all think this was planned or y'all think this was a coincidence? All right, not a brain tree. We're a fire. Yeah. Hey, look, we got to We got. We got to take a step back. Uh, check this out, though. We see a trend with stuff like this, like these movies that we say that everybody say that they're just movies. We see a correlation with the real life activity that happens. Even if you want to talk about the Avatar movie and they said, why well, wasn't the color people in there? Like, black people, whatever you want to call us, right? In there. And it's like, yeah, they were in there, but they were they were the blue people. They were the blue people. And then in stuff like this, in these movies, like right here, they're predicting what's going to uh, be future activity. Just like the, the, you know, the, I don't even want to say that word on YouTube no more because they become so far about the 19 thing. Y'all know about the V19? They had movies on that. Speaking about what was happening or what was going to happen years ago. And then the shit happened. And then people were saying, oh, it's just a movie. But they were using the same names and everything to describe what was going to happen and how it was going to happen. But whatever. You know, people got to pull their their heads out their own sometimes, you know? I'm trying to cut back on the curse word. But yeah, sometimes you got to pull your head out your own ass. You didn't say it that way, right? <laughs> But yeah, man, you know, you're you getting in your own way of progression, you know, and I, I say these things on this channel just for people cautious about the things that happen around you, just be more aware. Stop thinking that everything is fake and make believe because it hasn't directly affected you. But a lot of people out here in these areas in Ohio thought that, oh, you know, living a normal life, nothing can ever happen. You know, you're living careless. Boom. All of a sudden this happened. Now your lungs are messed up. Now your blood messed up. Now your water's contaminated. 
know? I just want y'all to be prepared. That's why I speak and do these videos. Air at a waste facility is now out this morning. Thankfully, but it burned for hours and hours overnight, and there are now concerns about what exactly caught fire there. You can see the flames right here. NBC 10's Alicia Palumbo live for us in Braintree right now. Alicia, do we know how this fire started? We still don't know at this point, and we still don't know what burned. And as crews work to clean up what's left of these four tractor trailers that caught fire here, we are left with more questions than answered about exactly what burned here and whether it's dangerous to breathe in. A fire at the Clean Harbors Waste Treatment Facility in Braintree late Thursday night sent flames, smoke, and fumes into the air. Last night I came out and there were flames going up there. It was a big plume. When the smoke turned from white to black, we knew this is also a chemical fire. Braintree Town Councilor Elizabeth Maglio lives near Clean Harbors and was alerted to the fire by the mayor. The town posted on its Facebook page warning people to stay in their homes and keep their windows closed as they assess whether the chemicals burning in these tractor trailers were toxic. But some who live and work nearby were upset there wasn't a reverse 911 call or text sent out. I mean, it's scary. It's terrifying. I mean, I work across the street over there, so, I mean, it's awful. Get our building. They know about an announcement the other day. We have a, you know... It 800 people live in uh, Skyline Apartments. No, nothing, nothing. As crews work Friday to clean up what's left of these burned out trailers and their contents, Councillor Maglio is calling for more transparency in the chemicals being transported here and whether there are health hazards caused by this fire. Do you smell the air? Do you smell the chemical? My throat is burning. My eyes are stinging. Right now, we breathe it in right now. As questions remain surrounding air quality, some residents are choosing to mask up until more is known about what happened here. <laughs> You know what, though? All I'm thinking about in some of these situations, though, like the firefighters, bro, they be running in and stuff. They fearless, man. They do this for a living, but I wonder if they knew, like, what they were putting out. How that's going to affect them. Hey, guys. So now we got this going on. UN chief warns humanity one miscalculation away from nuclear annihilation. Look at this. We are so getting to the point where there's so much talk about nuclear war and it's just getting worse day by day. Every single country is upset. Everybody's threatening nukes everywhere. Like it hasn't been like this at all in my lifetime anyway that I remember. But this is scary. Like who wants to see this one day? I know I don't, but y'all prepare yourself. Just prepare. You need to because these headlines are starting to become daily. Daily, guys. Stay safe. The chaos happening in the world in a nutshell, part two. So I'm a slave owner, or I mean a lady who owns a house full of slaves. I mean the working class. Let's say I'm a... a one lady to a hundred slaves and uh, like a hundred is a lot to control and there's new technology coming out so i'm gonna have to really get a grip on them maybe track trace and control them get them used to being in prison in their own homes um just really control them more than they've ever been controlled before because again if they get to this new technology it's game over for me my money my power my slaves are all gone so there's other slave owners on the cul-de-sac like me let's call them other countries and uh, so most of them, we wink at each other. We don't care about the people. But there's this one guy at the end, he gives his slaves too much freedom. And we're going to come up with a reason to go to war with him so we can replace him. So he can be uh, in line with, uh, with our agenda. Because we really don't want these slaves getting to new technology. And we're probably just going to decrease their population one by one slowly by tricking them. One of the things that's happening with this, that's why on the news, you hear them say, oh, no. We got to stop the woke, right? They don't want people to understand what's really going on. That's the mission is to suppress and stop that, right? Now that they can't stop that is you got a bunch of titled people at the top that's throwing tantrums because everybody else is understanding what's really going on, why they're not progressing in life. That's because it's better for you to be that way. No matter your skin color, people that are on the bottom are all colors at the a reason why you're there and now that you know you're getting more knowledge being more aware 
they have to figure out a different way to play the same game. Over the last two years, the destruction that they've done in two years, nobody's ever seen anything like it. And even now, you have a president going to Ukraine, and you have people in Ohio that are in desperate need of help. And I was very proud to say that I announced I was going to Ohio. You know, FEMA said we're not going to give them anything. The Biden administration said we're not going to give them anything. And then I announced I'm going. Please sit down. Yeah, go ahead, sit. We'll be here for a while. What do we have to do? What do we have to do? But they weren't going to get anything from FEMA. They weren't going to get anything from anybody. And then I announced I'm going. And FEMA said, oh, we'll give you whatever you want. Everybody's throwing it at them now. And you know what? I'm happy about that. That's good. We're going to go on Wednesday. But as soon as we announced we were going, the money started rolling in. But it's not supposed to be that way, is it? Absolutely not, nigga. I'm not. I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna be that. I wouldn't be that calm, bro. Please pick me up with the UFO before that shit happens. Part two. Let's get this work. Check home, girl out. It may be small, but do know things are going to get worse. Just be prepared. I'm gonna go ahead and show you all within the next video what's going on and what's not being exposed to you all. This right here is a map of all the volcano eruptions that are erupting. And as you see, it's a lot of red. I wanna bring this to the attention of my viewers. Everywhere, everywhere, not just one place. Look at that. I showed y'all this map right here, map of the stars, for a reason. These are biblical paths and stuff. The dates are wrong, but look at it. This is Planet X trajectory right here. Slingshots around the sun come back out. But this thing supposedly has a million mile long tail, debris tail behind it. So what can cause all these volcanoes and all these different things to happen on the earth different well celestial another body. celestial body coming in yeah. i showed you in the last video with the magnetos pause it was pushing in on the back of the planet it's coming up from under us it's coming up from under us which means it we would be getting that pressure from up under us so my question is y'all prepared again like i mentioned in one of my other videos why do you not see anything about the queen prince harry megan merkel none of these people right you don't see ellen DeGeneres. remember all these people used to be on tv and, and your president used to be walking yeah. you know with with the with the dogs and you don't you don't see none of that with this president <laughs> you know with none of this right here why why you don't see no, no talks of the royals they can use it under the guise of a sickness that these people disappear, that they just trying to stay healthy. Telling y'all something big about to happen. As you can see, y'all better get ready, prepare, get food. You know what I mean? Generator. I'm telling y'all, all I can do is tell people and let them know, you know, I'm preparing. It is what it is. You know what I mean? Stay prayed up. Talk to the most high. If you haven't. You they have observed at the sun last week, NASA providing footage showing a huge filament of solar plasma breaking free from the surface of the sun. It then begins to circulate around the sun's north pole in a massive vortex. Scientists have seen filaments break free before, but never become a polar whirlwind. 
It's, it's nothing to worry about. The sun undergoes an 11-year solar cycle. It has reached a very active stage. And look, yo, remember we was doing those videos and everybody was, uh, you know, still doing it. They're building all these bunkers and stuff. That's not going to help with stuff. Thank man. Not, and might as well get it over with on the top with everybody else. I'd rather, you know, rather not be like drowned to death or shit get compromised and it start flooding or magma starts to just leak in there. You must just get it over with like the rest of us with one little swoop. You feel me? Go ahead. <laughs> you know, I don't want to see it come. Just go ahead and get it over with. Take it. Uh, pause, 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 pause. Let's get into this video though. Unexplainable footage of two sounds worldwide. What is this being captured? I know what that is. It's big too. It's crazy. Say it was gonna look like it's gonna look like a red dragon. That's the dragon that they speak of. For everybody that follow me and listen to my videos, I need y'all to go download or go buy this uh map. Sound like a map, it's called the Great Solar Flash or Great Awakening. It talks about everything, literally. I'm talking about everything that's going on, that happened, and that's about to happen. Literally, everything. I know this stuff is hard to see, but once you download it or buy it, you can see it clearly when you zoom in or if you got it right in front of you. So, like, it's best to go buy it on, a, like, a piece of paper. I don't know where you can buy it. You can look it up and figure it out. I'm trying to find it myself because it's kind of hard to see it on your phone when you zoom in but this map right here man it talks about a lot that that's going on like for real down to the t i'm talking about to the t it's right on point it's not missing nothing y'all get ready for this solar flash man this is when everything is about to rise this is when everything is going to happen and change that solar flare, for real. Stay woke and stay spoke, man. I'll say. Solar flare. This video is about an esoteric breakdown of the movie Lucy and about the solar activity and solar flares that's been entering our atmosphere, uh, CME and others. Along with the solar flares, I will be talking about the Medellin DNA activation that coincides with this. So first thing first, before I even go too deep, a quote from Marcus Garvey, there's no future for people who deny their past. On my left, I have a chart about the DNA series, understanding this on a metaphysical and cosmic level. It reads, in 1996, nine geneticists discovered that black Africans possess more DNA series than any other series on the earth. So-called black people have a nine DNA genetic series, uh, while Europeans have a six genetic series. And for those of you that know, mathematically, nine is the highest number in the universe. Nine meaning of being a completion, that's why you are natural to everything on this planet and realm. On my right, I have the Egyptian god Aten, also known as the sun god. The esoteric symbolism behind Aten is the third eye and the soul within. This is why we naturally absorb intelligence from the sun. Okay, so in the movie Lucy, she came across a substance that altered her DNA and basically gave her metagene DNA activation, causing her to exceed her human limitations. The solar flares in the atmosphere is nothing but the same thing happening. Your DNA is starting to unravel. Wars, also known as black people, have 64 amino acids, but on average, we only access about 20. Remember the amino codes are made from the basic four elements which you are made of. Also, we have gray matter, which is the matter in your brain that connects neurons in your brain. The 
Genes and gray matter is what makes us metahuman. On top of me, I have Mr. Mullis. Mr. Mullis invented a PCR test that is being used for the vid test today. He said that this PCR test is not made to detect any type of infectious disease. It is designed to pick up a signature DNA and RNA of the person being tested. He suddenly died in August 2019, which prevented him from proclaiming the truth during the false flag. Use your discernment for that, all right? And also, twisted means forced out of the natural shape or proper shape, crumpled. All these codes are unraveling, okay? They're unraveling because they were twisted due to all the manipulation and everything on this third dimensional construct. So your genetic coding on a quantum level is activating plus the melanin, which is carbon, which is condensed sunlight, which is the building block of all civilization. So this is why we will have these so-called superpowers. Okay, the Anunnaki always depicted symbolism. The pine cone, pineal gland is Christ consciousness. It's consciousness. It's the seat of the soul, bro. And the wings for the ascension. Without seeing through the penile gland, Christ consciousness, you are basically limited down here to this materialism world and you are disconnected from the spiritual realm. Again, the importance of carbon, which is also a tie to that dark matter which resides in you. Right here, the power of an immortal, the soul of a human, the heart of a hero. All these have examples of carbon-12, also known as dark matter energy. Life of part two, I'm running out of time. Peace. Message. You know, like... We got hopefully y'all enjoyed this video right here very informational hopefully y'all paid attention to this because this is stuff right here that can affect you right now not the stuff that's coming in the future this is stuff that can affect you right now so that's why i do these videos to really inform y'all and so y'all can have the best fight and chance to make the best decision for you take the information go look it up yourself and that's what I implore you to do. Don't listen to nobody's information and take it from face value. Always go do a little research and you might find something different. Uh, but I will say this. You know, um, I don't like the way things are moving because we got to think down the line. Uh, our children are going to be in position in the future if it keeps going like this. And you see it happen in other countries where they're going to be having drafts. You see that happening because you got to think less than 1% people even can make it into the military but that's why they are making certain things about the military and getting in less strict that's why they can't even curse at the trainees sergeants like it's a lot of things they're doing that for particular reasons that's because in the essence of things they need people they need bodies not that they care about you they just need bodies in order to do certain things or fight wars and stuff like that so you got to think People that's rooting for this stuff, your kids be in line for that. So I hope that you prepared for that, you know, and then they'll be the next people getting bombs dropped on. So I think, you know, starting to lose control, these different governments, and they want, you know, scare people, scare attack. You see a UFO show up and it's shooting stuff up. That's not, that's, I don't think that's the way it's going to go. You know, I don't think that's the way it's supposed to go. And it's just another scare tactic. Just my thoughts, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I get downloads too. And I I'm, I don't I don't always tell y'all exactly what I'm getting. Because that's for me. But i say this. They know that the, the, the control mechanisms, that system, broken down. And people are very aware nowadays. So, this is the last real opportunity or last chance they got to manipulate y'all again you know and this is not a color thing see many different people at the bottom and the reason why you at the bottom is because people that look like you put you there they put you there you're at the bottom of the barrel because they put you there you got a lot of caucasian people that think like damn like i don't i don't get nothing no benefit from this shit that's because everybody can't make it to the top and the families that were supposed to make it to the top already made it to the top and they're comfortable. They will they're comfortable with keep food. The more you wake up to this to this information really going on in the world, the more powerful you will be, people. So we all need to stand together. They need to do us right. Turn back over our land. They need to do. Turn back over our land because you know your time is up. I'll see y'all in the next video. And like I always say, spread love because it's too much hate in this world. Love you guys. I see you in the next video. We out though. Bye.